Now, published in America in 1994, this is a Good quality Schiffer publication, well renowned for really good quality books, very well illustrated. This is Tiger Ace, the life story of Panzer Commander Michael Wittmann, who ultimately met his end at the gun battle of a couple of 17 pounder Firefly Shermans. Really excellent quality book. It was the first in depth study of the commander, where he went, what he did. There's a couple of uh, questions and answers in the back pertaining to the Battle of. Villa's Bocage. It's a really excellent, superb book. Let's see if you can find it. When it was published, brand new, it was a thirty-five pound, a thirty-five dollar book, rather. It's American publication, as I've said. It is well worth finding. Let's see if you can get a copy. Don't know what it would sell for, but I reckon, because it's a Schiffer publication, it's one of those books that will hold its value over the years. It is a superb publication. So. See if you can get one, we'll unscrew that, we'll have a look through it anyway. But I do highly recommend it. So, Tiger Ace, the story of Panzer Commander Michael Wittmann by Gary L. Simpson. And the blurb, the first comprehensive study of the legendary Panzer Commander Though there have been numerous articles on Wittmann, none have come close to understanding the scope of his life and combat experiences. Wittmann's military exploits stand out from all of the rest, as his Sturmgeschütz 3 and Tiger 1 crews succeeded in destroying 138 enemy tanks and 132 anti-tank guns and field artillery pieces. Gary Simpson conducted extensive research, travel and interviews to uncover the true facts and situations that Michael Wittmann encountered on the battlefields of both the Eastern and Western Fronts. And it is... A superb publication so we have his pre-war life on the farm entering to the German army entering to the LAH invasion of Poland invasion of France Sturmgeschütz 3 in combat in Greece Operation Barbarossa officer cadet training and Tiger 1 training return to Russia Kursk final panzer battles on the Eastern Front visit to the Tiger 1 factory at Kassel the battle for Villers Bocage the death of Michael Wittmann and then you have a couple of appendices, which is his life chronology, questions and answers on Villas Bocage, research questions and answers, Tiger 1 analysis, research notes, comparative rank notes. Really, really good book. And the, the illustrations tend to be all grouped together. So we'll skip, we'll skip the text and we'll go to the illustrations. So all the illustrations in the book are like this, they tend to be grouped rather than spread throughout. And again, we'll do a bit of skipping because there we are again. It is really very, very well illustrated. Again, we'll do another jump. This is Villas Bocage. That's his tank. We got killed. And I think. He wasn't recovered until, was it 1980s, they found his remains, buried in situ. And in the back you have any appendices, you have the Michael Wittmann's life chrono chronology, chrono chronology, Phyllis Bocage. Research questions and answers pertaining to the Battle of Villas Bocage. Tiger 1 analysis, good points, bad points. And you have comparative table, but it, it is a really, really superb quality book. It runs to some... to some, well, 341 pages. 
And the Schiffer History Series are good quality books anyway. But this one is superb. Tiger Ace, The Life Story of Panzer Commander Michael Wittmann.